Let me show you the other side. up though. Yeah. How you doing today, Joe? What made you come out on this cold morning? My heart went out to the um, to the immigrant folks being discriminated against and being thought of as other. Stand up for them. And uh, how long you been out here? I think it's three, three and a half hours or something now. Okay. And what kind of what kind of reactions we've been getting from the general the, public? The drivers by seems mixed. Um, a lot of drivers passed by the uh, anti-immigrant uh, demo first, and then the ones that are uh, like-minded to us over here uh, feel a sense of relief, I think, when they see our signs and uh, say nice things to us, uh, like, uh, good job, oh, good, I'm glad you're there. Right, that's right. Um, put their thumbs up, honk their horns. Um, And a few people have given us the finger, uh, thumbs down finger and the middle finger up. And, uh, one, one person shouted commies at us. Uh, I think most people are uh, passing by honking us more than the other side. I don't know what that means. And what, what are your general thoughts on this? Uh topic of the day laborers and immigration? I think um, we should identify with them as workers. People trying to find work. And that's a good thing. And uh, I think this anti-immigrant um, attitude is uh, forgetting about uh, the law of time. I think um, nothing separates Today's citizens from these people, because all our uh, ancestors were uh, immigrants, um, even the First Nation people in a way, or if except for them, it's just a, it's just a time a time zone thing, a time war. I don't see why they can't see that. Their grandparents or great grandparents uh, didn't didn't come here. I just think I don't know why they they don't see that. 
And then there's a lot of uh, hate growing among among it. I, I don't I don't like that. Uh, I'm in favor of love. The, um, there, were, uh, there was a fire bombing of um, Latino household a few years back. I thought someone died, but the uh, officer here told me I'm mistaken and nobody died. And um, there has been some meetings in Long Island, Mexicans and other Latinos. And um, it's not an American way. Think they're being scapegoated? Yeah, that's really what I've been thinking in my mind. It's a lot of Americans are feeling powerless and uh, afraid. In the last few years, in particular, and, uh, scapegoatism is a dangerous thing. It's like they say. First they came for the gays, then they came for the Jews, then they came for the Catholics. I wasn't them. You know, you know, you guys must know yeah. that story. And then, then it was just me. <laughs> Divide and conquer. And they came for me, and there was no one around. So I think we should stand up for each other. Um, Hope I'm answering your question. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, Joe. Let me show you the other oh, side. Okay. Uh, really, yeah. <laughs> Brian.